Hello everyone, I am Pepino here, and this is going to be the first episode of my Kerbal Space Program tutorials. I'm doing a Let's Play, uh, sort of developing a space program uh, and working our way up from satellites to manned missions and getting more and more complicated as we go. So hopefully you guys are enjoying that. Uh, and I filmed most of that. I filmed a ton of episodes over Christmas break so that I've got videos to upload for you guys and then when I get some spare time I'll be making these tutorials and other videos and stuff. Uh, so what we're gonna do is just the first video here we're gonna explain uh, everything about the game. Uh, so this is a brand new world I just started. Uh, once you start the world you get all of these different options here and the main two you're going to want to start with are the vehicle assembly building or the space plane hangar. Uh, the vehicle assembly building is going to be where you're going to build your rocket ships. So you're going to start here and you have to choose a command pod uh, and so we'll start with building a rocket. That's going to be our first tutorial. Uh, and you can read the description of all of these, a lot of these uh, things, the descriptions of these items in the game are pretty funny. Um, not all of them, but a lot of them, uh, if you read them. But what we're going to focus on for the pod is uh, the minimum crew to operate, mass, things like that. Uh, that's going to all uh, determine how many Kerbals you can get into space how much power you're going to need to get up into space, things like that. Uh, or if you want to use satellites and things like that, they're down here. Uh, some of the uh, pods are tougher than the others. You look at impact tolerance uh, in case your rocket blows up. Um, you don't want your Kerbals to all die. But uh, we'll start with just the command pod MK1. That's going to just give us one Kerbal, but it's going to be light. And we should be able to get it up into space pretty easily. So, uh, you're going to need a few different things for your rockets. The first thing I like to add is uh, controls. So we're going to give it an SAS module. Uh, and I always want to put parachutes on your capsule just as a safety thing if your rocket doesn't work you can deploy the parachutes and your Kerbal won't die uh, you can also have parachutes mounted on the top like that then the next thing that we're gonna do for just this basic rocket this is gonna be like your first rocket just trying to get up into space uh, we're gonna wanna add your fuel and for this size we're gonna wanna use this there are other fuel tanks you can see uh, how many uh, units of fuel it holds but like this one you can see it's wider you want one that's gonna fit nicely so we're gonna use this one for this rocket design uh, but first actually we should probably go up here these are all the different categories by the way uh, and we're gonna wanna add a decoupler and what that's gonna do is that's gonna appear down here so when you hit spacebar enough times eventually it's gonna break apart right here and your capsule will be the only thing to fall back. We could put the decoupler above the SAS, but it doesn't really matter at that point. So we'll throw the fuel on. Uh, and we're going to get a couple things of fuel. I'll just do like three. And then we'll give it an engine. Now you're going to want to look at the engines carefully. Uh, one of the mistakes I made is you got to make sure if you want to be able to control the rocket well. You're going to want uh, thrust vectoring enabled and this one has it. This one uh, doesn't really have any uh, yeah no it doesn't have any at all actually. Uh, this one has it. I'm pretty sure the vast majority of them have it other than just that one. Uh, also you're going to want to make sure you're using the right type of engines, not a jet engine. If you're using rocket fuel, you want to use jet fuel for that, uh, but we'll get to that later. 
Also, my advice on building rockets isn't actually necessarily the most informed. I kind of just experimented with it myself. So this is just my recommendations for just beginners rocket building. B basic rocket building 101. Uh, so then you can, uh, if I hadn't mentioned, you can go to s symmetry mode and change that. Uh, and basically if you have it set at four, you're going to put four of these things around. If you set it to six, there will be six and so on. So that's not too difficult. Down here you have your angle snap, which rather than going anywhere, you see it'll just jump to the right angles. Uh, and that's actually probably more useful for building your rocket. It makes it easier. So we're going to add just four of these here. And now when you push space here, those will uh, detach. But then we're going to just add more fuel on here just like this and like that and yeah like I said this isn't gonna be a great rocket uh, this is just gonna be sort of a very basic tutorial and it should get you up into space hopefully if it doesn't I will feel bad that I wasted your time um, so then we are gonna wanna add struts now I could explain why by showing you, or I could show you, I'll just explain it. Uh, if you uh, don't have enough structural support, these will wobble a lot, and then you could lose control very easily. So we're going to add struts here. Just make sure you keep the symmetry at four. And we're going to, I'd choose usually to just add them all the way up, uh, and like that just so that uh, you're more stable and I like to attach it to the inside stage here on a design like this as well so just do that there you go and you can see it's attached there um, and we'll do another one down at the bottom just like that and it's attached down there and then uh, we're gonna want to go to aerodynamics just make these tops curved there like that and so that's a very basic rocket design we don't have any RCS on it we could add RCS later uh, RCS is just useful for controlling the direction you're facing in space you would add the RCS thrusters and then under propulsion there's also RCS fuel and uh, so here We'll add some RCS fuel just for learning purposes. So we'll do that. We should probably actually add the RCS fuel to the final stage now that I think about it, because that's the stage that's going to be up in space. So hold on. What you can do is if you click on the pod, the main capsule you started with, that will move it all around. But if you click just below that, like this, you can just drag whatever is farther away, basically, from the pod than that, uh, if that made sense. So, what you're doing here, you'll just put our CS fuel on, and then we'll put this back, like that. Now we can add some RCS thrusters. Uh, you're going to want those if you're going to be doing anything slightly complicated. In my Let's Play I didn't add RCS thrusters to a lot of my stuff for whatever reason. Uh, and it made it a lot more complicated than it had to be on some missions. Uh, and I don't think I... I think I may have added it actually at first in my first episodes and not had fuel because I was I was dumb. But I've learned since then. Uh, so now we'll just attach more struts. I saw a diagram that I've found is very helpful, especially for beginning players. Uh, you, you ask yourself what was wrong with your rocket, and uh, if it was that your rocket didn't make it into space, you add more rockets and fuel. And if it was that it blew up on the way to space, you add more struts 
and you just repeat the process until you get to space. Uh, so we didn't cover all of the parts and whatnot. There's many more utility parts uh, and things like that. But uh, we have a basic rocket, so I think we will be ready to uh, test fly this in our next tutorial. This is, like I said, just a very basic rocket that should be able to get you into space. You can do something similar to this, make your own modifications if you think you can make it better. Uh, I'm sure you can. And we'll call this basic rocket. We'll save it, and then we will go to the launch pad in our next tutorial, which should be uploaded shortly after this one. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.